There's an effort underway in Missouri to change the statute of limitations for when victims of sexual abuse can take civil action against their abuser. In tonight's Legal Lens segment, Fox News' Jeff Bernthal asked Brown and Crouppen's Andrea McNary about why some are saying that that change is necessary. So Andrea, well, let's start with, I guess, we hear the term statute of limitation. Just exactly what does that mean? So every state has laws that prevent lawsuits both civil and criminal from being brought or filed after a certain time. The purpose of that is really to keep things fair because as witnesses age, uh, you know, memories fade, uh, evidence is lost and destroyed. Um, so every state, it varies from state to state, the different civil and criminal statute of limitations, but every state has them. When it comes to victims of sex abuse, often, the, you know, we're talking about victims who are very young. I guess, what is the statute of limitation in those cases? So the interesting thing is there's two different statutes. So for, for a criminal case, a criminal case can always be brought when we're talking about victims of sexual abuse. What the difference is, is when it's a civil case, so for money damages, not for um, to put somebody in jail, um, there are very strict limitations. So most of the time um, it's within 10 years of somebody uh, attaining the age of 21. So at the latest, that would be uh, 31 or three years from when they discovered it happened. So you can see the problem, especially when you have very young victims, why this keeps becoming an issue every year that the legislation is, is dealing with. And so I know there's a push to change that. What, what, what are, I guess, what's the, the, the talk or the, or the plan for, for possibly changing that? So right now, the proposal and the call to action is to remove the statute of limitations in a civil case and make it the same for criminal, meaning no statute of limitations. Last year, um, if you recall, we talked, this was also up in front of the legislation where they proposed to make the statute of limitations 55 years um, of age. So, you know, proponents of this say that there is a... Um, a, just a multitude of scientific evidence that most people don't even recall or realize the damage that was done to them because of childhood sexual abuse until they're at least the age average age of 51. Opponents of this say that it's going to result in more lawsuits. We will see what happens as the legislative session kicks off next year. Andrea McNary, as always, with uh, Brown and Crouppen, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News. Remember, you can catch The Legal Lens on Fox 2 every Wednesday at 6 p.m.